All right, everybody, welcome to the monthly Around Town Team market update for the month of May. Now I'm sitting behind a desk, so it's gonna get serious. New listings, hot topic, are there more coming? Well, year over year, it's a little bit different. Last year, this time, 175. This year, we're sitting at 168. Now, year to date, 710 listings hit the market in 21, 575 thus far this year, 2022. That's a decrease of 20%. Pending sales, last year, same time in 2021, 126. Right now, 107. Year to date, 2021, same time period, 547. Today, 404. We're down 27%. Closed sales, where the money's made, right everybody? Last year, 112 in May of 21, 82 May of 22. Year to date, 493 sales, 355 this year, May 2022 year to date, a decrease of 28%. All right, now a really interesting statistic because we also look at the qualitative data along with the quantitative data. And oftentimes in our office, we say, hey, things are feeling a little bit different out there. There's maybe there's not enough buyers. Maybe there's not as many showings as there once was. Well, interestingly enough, there are 12 showings per home in both 2021 and 2022 before an offer is accepted. 12. Now, that's an interesting stat because the amount of buyers are actually down 19%, right? Think about it. Less homes are on the market, less homes have sold, but the amount of buyers it takes for showings to get a deposit is the same. So we're actually down 19% or about 8,500 to 6,900 active buyers in that market segment we spoke about. Pretty fascinating stuff. So the same ratio, but less buyers in the market. Why is this happening? Well, the intended consequences of the Fed raising the base rate and driving the cost to borrow up, coupled with inflation. Buyers are leaving the market. It is becoming more and more expensive to acquire a home and maintain a home than it did last year and the year prior. Okay, so why is inventory decreasing? Well, it's an interesting question. Two thoughts. One, a lot of sellers, they still don't know where they're gonna go and they're afraid they're not gonna find something. It's a very real fear and a very real fact. Number two, interest rates are up. 70% of home buyers in America had already locked into a rate below or at 4%. A lot of folks aren't willing to trade up or down for a higher interest rate and increased cost of living. All right, so what do you do now, right? You still wanna buy a house. There's not a lot of inventory. Are you wondering, is this the right time? Well, historically, the rates of five, five and a half, still really good, guys. Heck, my first rate, my first home in 2007, were two loans blended close to eight, nine percent. In the early 80s, they were in the mid-teens. So historically, really good rates, just different than they were the previous 14 years or so. Now, if you're gonna stay in your home for five, 10 plus years, you'll be just fine from a rate perspective and heck, maybe they'll even decrease so you can refinance one day. We can all hope for that, of course. And hey, if you're a seller and you still wanna sell and you don't know where to go, seller to find suitable housing or maybe consider a rental on a short-term basis until you find that next home that makes sense for you. There's options out there. We'll continue to update you on the market as it changes ever so quickly and we look forward to working with you soon.